Furbank. Not safe. Picked up by Baldwin. Steenson has it, and now there's trouble for Northampton. Tipped on by Dolman to O'Flaherty. Inside and outside of Hutchinson. Oh, that's magnificent from O'Flaherty. Fabulous bit of running. Dolman now. Steenson. Chiefs running wild. Approaching the 22 through Francis. Options left and right. Steenson. Oh, and through the hole. Storming through the hole is Lonsdale. What a run. What a score. They get the bobble of the ball, the handling's good, but he, when he gets it, he's standing still. The defence coming across is at pace, so he just puts the brakes on and then goes back, wrong foots his man. And then when they recycle eventually, just look at the disguise on this pass from Steenson. Looks like all in the world he's going out of the back and he just leaves it in the hole. And Lonsdale does really well. Chiefs, as ever, patient in possession, waiting for the moment to strike. Waiting for the opportunity. Hidalgo Klein finds Baldwin. Bruising run from Baldwin. Looks like a powerful winger. And inside from Hepburn to Yanis Kirsten. There's another hole. And there is another try for the Chiefs. Slightly worried for Northampton Saints because when I mean there's two brilliant tries from Exeter just keeping hold of the ball, but Effectively, they've all originated from two high balls, which they've dropped. Exeter's ability to be able to do the very basics very well. Looking for support to his left. No! It's there for Taylor. A little unexpectedly, he's going to have a little dart and a snipe. He can't reach. Line, Exeter. Goal line. Ratuni Arawa. Exeter, goal line again. Stops just shy. Ribbons now, and the pathway blocked underneath, so over the top he goes. And he has the try, yeah, anyway, finally. It on the line, so the other side is pretty Takes good, a bit it? of finding the line, doesn't it? A lot of boots in the way, but he does well. <laughs> Furbank, where we fend, and moves beyond the 10-metre line. Baldwin makes the tackle, and Rituri Arawa to halfway. Bigger. And pop pass has got it away to Fish. Great bit of work. Fish has got support from Taylor. And Taylor will streak his way to the try line. Beyond Hidalgo Klein. And the Saints are right back in this with half time beckoning. They've had so much of the game. But now they're getting some points to show for it. Well, that's the offloading game that he wants. Everyone running onto the ball. Proctor plays nine. Bigger. Picked out the ball behind him and uh, Taylor flings it out in front of Hutchinson. And he's off on an outside arc and he's slipping through the tackle as well. Hutchinson is going to look to go round uh, Hodge. He's going to find support from Bigger and Dan Bigger is going to career forwards. Hodge stops it. Taylor there as well. Quick ball here could really hurt Exeter. Here's Ribbons. Dave Ribbons will get there. What a start that is to this second period. Brilliant finish, just drops the man, he's going low. Hepburn there, he uses his momentum down to the ground, kicks his legs back, takes his own pace out of it so he can't topple over. Inard goes to ground, Snow over the ball. That's Huge it. pass from Skinner. All the way out to Baldwin, who does really well, he's within five metres. And Saints will be anxious at this point, need to assemble fast in their defensive line. To the short side they go, and over the top they go, and it's O'Flaherty who secures Exodus third and puts them back in front as we head into our final ten minutes. You know, Flaherty, we've seen him using those feet in less confined spaces tonight. <laughs> but just like at Ashton Gate, not the frontliners, but nevertheless a very, very talented band of Exeter men have put in another tough, gritty performance to earn the points. And full-time at the Gardens, it's Northampton 19, Exeter 22.